Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mao here. The race for 4K high resolution camera aerial filming drones is going on and on. All the major and non-major drone manufacturers are releasing their key drones, high resolution 4K camera aerial filming drones day by day. GoPro has a Karma, DJI has a Mavic and Volcara has the iBa. Meet Volcara iBa, their first 4K camera aerial filming drone. It has a 4K camera, GPS and GLONASS, circle flight mode, destination planning, oh excuse me Valkyra, that is waypoints. Alright, and then we have one key to base, one key return or auto return to home and one key takeoff and landing. Now these are just simple common features. Every drone, I mean a, a toy drone sitting there CG035 has all of these features. What makes Volcara Eyebow a unique drone, a drone that stands out in this crowd of 4K aerial filming, following, circle, blah 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 mode drones? And that is written right here. An aircraft that can play the game. Yes, this time Volcara has actually programmed virtual reality gaming in their drone. This means not only you can fly it for your aerial filming purposes, but also when you're getting really bored, you can start playing those virtual reality games like racing, like collecting coins, like shooting some other alien aircraft out of the skies using the same eyeball camera drone from Volcara. Hmm. Now that's something very very new that we haven't seen in other drones so far. So basically Volcara has taken the first step towards virtual reality gaming using the real drones. Now that is something we call a wow factor. Wow! A drone that can play game. Not only I can shoot videos and uh, take pictures but I can also play games. Three different games with lots of tracks and stuff. Well yes, of course, this is a wow factor. But what about the airspace, civil airspace safety rules and regulation factors? Well, Volcara, while totally concerned about rules and regulations, clearly mentioning in their eyeball user manual that before you fly the drone, please study and follow the local air laws, rules and regulations before flying the drone. Which is a very nice and responsible thing to do, but Volcara, how many will actually read the user manual and how many will actually pay attention to those two lines in your user manual. Now the thing is, from that perspective of civil airspace safety rules, regulations or simply speaking safety, is it really wise to have a drone physically flying in the civil airspace while the operator is totally focused on the game rather than flying? rather than the environment and airspace around him or herself. Is it really wise? Is it really a smart move to give virtual reality wow factor games in your physical drone which is flying physically out there in civil airspace? Well, this is a question I'm asking myself. This is the question I'm forwarding to many of those out there, including the governments who are watching my videos. So now, the question mark will stay on top of our heads until I fly Valkyra Eyebow and review all the games while the Valkyra Eyebow is physically in the airspace and then I can honestly tell you how much fun it is and how safe it is to fly a drone physically up there in civil airspace while playing and focusing on virtual reality games. Enough said, let's take it outside the box and see what Volcara is offering us this time, how cool the drone is, what are the features of the drones, and we'll take the Volcara eyeball app right in our mobile phone and see what does it has to offer. Alright, this is what I got inside the box. We get a Volcara eyeball drone 4k camera drone with virtual reality gaming features 
we get Walkera Devo F8e, their brand new or the newest radio system. We get user manuals, uh, motor, uh, propeller mounting tools on the motor. We get a USB cable for the upgrade of firmware. Then we have a battery, 7.6 volt, 5,200 milliamp battery for your Walkera eyeball. I haven't seen anything that claims how much flight time the drone will get on this battery. We'll check that out later. And a battery charger right here, which will charge your battery from one end and charge your radio from the other end at the same time. Finally, they have made Ali Shamao say these, call these things drones all the time. Anyway, all right, so this is the battery. I'll just put it inside for now. I mean, not turn it on. Okay, so here it is, the Volcara iBow in my hands. You can see there's a 4K camera on the front. Now, is it a stabilized camera? Hmm, I am really, really not sure about it. Maybe there is a digital stabilization, maybe, but it doesn't say anywhere in the user manual if it has a feature of stabilizing the video and pictures are not a problem, but video is stabilized or not. There is nothing that it says on the user manual. Okay, the next about the design and the shape. Well, though it looks the Walkera actually this time has totally designed their own product, but I do see some of the similarities or a mix-up of various drones, which I'm not much caring, which I really don't care much about. Car manufacturers, major car manufacturers around the world are actually copying the design. So what we're concerned about is the performance of the drone and if all those claimed features virtual reality games are really that interesting that the Walkera has claimed. The drone, uh, the quadcopter, <sighs> the quadcopter itself is a very lightweight quadcopter. So there's a camera on the front, there's a TF card slot on the left side, then you have a battery on off switch, okay, and the battery status indicator. Down there, it seems like this is probably sonar sensor. I'm not sure if there's a sonar or optical sensor. Walkera user manual does not say anything about it. Then we have here two slots, looks like to me USB and, an a and some other uh, upgrade slots because right now they are empty, probably for a gimbal connection. So probably later Walkera will offer us a gimbal because, yes, wait for it until we take a look at the radio, then we will know Walkera probably will offer us a gimbal and a stabilized view. All right, and at this side we have the USB port, probably for the upgrades of firmwares and uh, similar thing like that. Okay, so this is the Walkera iBow, nice and neat design, very cool looking drone, uh, quadcopter. Okay, I'm kind of liking this design. It looks like cute and nice and totally something new, of course. So thank you very much, Walkera, for bringing us your own design this time. This is Walkera Devo F8E radio system. Uh, first thing first, you have antennas, okay. Uh, futuristic looks on those designs. The Volcara designs are getting very, very futuristic. But as you can see, antennas are pretty, pretty loose. And one of these pins are coming out, which actually shows how poor the Volcara's quality control is becoming. So antennas are shaking. I mean, they are moving freely, they are loose, and those pins are coming out. So better put some tape and hot glue on that probably to avoid losing that pin and uh, losing your antennas. After that, we have a tray for your phones, which will hold a mini iPad also. And apart from that, now look at that. We have another joystick, a mini joystick here, just like a PS4 game controller. And that's what I was saying to you, that on the drone, like here, probably it looks like Volcara will uh, actually offer a gimbal because this at the moment doesn't look like anything and doesn't do anything but this could control the pan and tilt of the camera I mean pitch and the pan of the camera gimbal later apart from that we have manual mode ooh there's a manual mode I love flying in manual mode thank you very much Walkera so there's a manual mode there's a GPS mode there's a motion mode and there's an auto circle mode so all the feature I mean flight modes of the uh, drone, a uh, quadcopter, come on Holly, what happened to you? All the mo uh, modes of the flight modes of the quadcopter are easily controllable using this little dial here. After that we have auto takeoff button, auto land button, return to home button and power on the radio button. 
and after that you have video and photo buttons at the left side here and at the right side gimbal return and gimbal pattern buttons at the moment these buttons are not doing anything because there's no gimbal but you can use those buttons to change Volcara uh, radio mode from mode 2, 3, 1, something like this. So you can change the modes from 1, 2, 3, 4 using these buttons and you can also do the calibration of your radio using those buttons. Alright, so do use uh, read the user manual before you actually operate it. At this side of the radio you have the port to actually charge your radio battery, okay? And on the back here at the moment we have a USB cable which, will, which means that it will be probably used for upgrades or something and here seems like it's a jack for audio video out or in. So this could be probably um, for the later use. Well, Kera Radio also have a very nice metal handle for the radio. Apart from that, yes, in the hand it feels really nice. All the controls are within the reach of your fingers. My hands are a little smaller. And of course, this gimbal control is, uh, I mean, whatever stick, this stick is going to control is also in very good reach. So this is a Volcara Devo F8E and this is Volcara Eyebell. Now, let's take a look at the app. That's where the fun begins, actually. All right, let's take a look at the Volcara app. Now, the good thing is, for the Volcara app, it offers you everything in a simulation mode. So you can basically try every game they offer, the try flying in a free fly mode, and get used to the sticks and the behaviors of the drone, which is not gonna be as realistic as outdoors in the real uh, environment with the real drone, but still, you will get a lot of practice using your own radio flying, the simulation and all the games using the Volcara app. Alright, so let's take a look at the Volcara app. Let me focus it in a way that you get everything seen clearly. In order to connect Volcara Eyeball, the first thing you need to do is turn on your radio, okay? And after that, turn on your Wi-Fi. When you turn on your Wi-Fi, you will find... One moment, hold on. You will find AirBot Ground. Alright, connect to it and the password will be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Alright, now you're connected. Okay, here we are. So we will run Volcara Eyeball Go. Eyeball Go, come on Volcara. DJI Go, Eyeball Go. You could simply say Eyeball Play, Eyeball VR. Anyway, forget about that. Allow Eyeball Go to make and manage phone calls? No, 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 no. I don't want you to do that. Allow Eyeball Go to access your contacts? No, 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 no. Definitely, I don't want you, Volcara, to read my contacts and send everybody some spamming emails about Volcara products. All right. Okay, so basically you have to allow the app to use um, location and photos and videos. English? Okay. Right after you start, you will hear an annoying music and an eyeball flying at Drone Grand Prix or Drone Grand Drone Prix here in Dubai. And this is the track, they have redesigned it. And this is a game as well, so hold on. First off, let me get rid of this annoying music. Thank you very much, Walker. Oh my god! Ooh! Ah! Go to the settings. Turn off the game music. Oh, thank you very much for at least giving us this option, Walkera. Thank you. Don't forget to save. All right, now that we have gotten rid of uh, that annoying music, now you have a MR mode, which means you have to fly your real Walkera drone. And uh, let me put down the exposure a bit more. Turn off this light. Much better. Okay, and we have simulation mode. That's where the fun begins because you can practice with your simulator, all right? You have a racing, collection, battle, and Dubai tournament. This means you can fly your Volcara Eyeball in simulation at the very Dubai Drone Prix uh, track, which we had this year. But in MR mode, you will have a free video mode. We will take a look at that as well. So first simulation, we will go for racing. You have three tracks, free fly, sky, and ground. Let's try the ground track first. Connecting controller, as soon as connecting controller, you are ready to fly, sir. Here we go. I wish there was a, a 
feature to move the camera up. Hey, I can fly really fast now. Look, I'm really, really good, man. Ooh, I'm good. So basically, you can practice flying FPV racing with this drone. That was not good. Ah, blood. So you can basically have a GPS or manual modes, okay, a sports mode, where you will get more speed probably. Ah, blood. Oh, I died. I'm back to GPS mode. And you can also change the camera view so you can actually see what your drone is doing. So it's like third person view. Another game is collection. This means you have to collect some coins in the air. Alright, the first thing is you have to take off and climb up to 15 meters. Once you're there, you will see some coins. Now you will go and collect some coins. You can fly in GPS mode, sports mode, or, you know, whatever mode you like, manual mode. Where is the coin? What happened, Alicia? No, you, you're unable to collect even one coin. Uh oh, I missed the coin again. Hold on, let me collect at least one coin before I move on to another. Yeah, I got the bag of coin. All right, now we have another coin in front of me. All right, now we have another bag in front of me. Yay, I got it. And hold on, there's a coin. I want to get it. It's very shiny. I missed it. For the battle game, you have to climb up to 25 meter. This uh, little thing doesn't do anything. Once you're on 25 meters, you're gonna see some aircraft in the air. Right there. Okay, let's go shoot them. Pew pew! Ah, pew, ah. We are shooting. We are flying. There are three more alien aircraft. Pew pew! Pew pew! Awesome! Shoot, shoot! There is a Star Wars kind of aircraft cockpit that you are in. Come on, come on. I got him. I got him. Oh, there you are. Awesome, I'm actually having fun now. Basically, you don't have to push any button, it will shoot itself. Alright, now the last one is... The last one is the Drone Prix from Dubai Tournaments. Alright, so here we are at the Drone Prix track. Alright, so we go to sports mode maybe, right? There you go. So I wish there was a way to put the camera up actually, but hey, I missed the gates. Man, I'm missing the gates. I am really, really missing the gates. Alright, flying really nice and good. Oh, I'm flying fast now. Ah, I missed the, missed the track, missed the track, missed the track. Here we go. Alright, make a quick turn, make a quick turn, missed the track. No, I didn't miss the track. I'm still going. Yes, very nice. Actually, if they offer this track again, I can actually practice on this simulator and win the race next time. One million dirham probably. Alright, so this is it for the indoor review of Volterra Eyeball. What's coming next? Of course, we have to bring it out. We have to give it a flight. So for now, I have shown you simulation and how you can play virtual reality game using the Volkera Devo F8E radio and your iBow Go app. Now the next thing, of course, when we bring this out for flight testing, I will show you what the uh, app looks like when you are in video mode. That means transmitting video, live video from the quadcopter camera. I will show you what that screen looks like, what that mode looks like, how good is the transmission, how good is the video, how good is the recording. And basically we'll see how good is the flying. All right, so now what's left is all these questions. How good it is, how good is the performance, how good is the aerial filming, and how much wow factors are the games to play. And of course, the more questions remains, are those wow factor games are really, really safe to play with a drone physically in the air or not? All these questions will be answered in my next videos when I'm flying this drone and having fun with this drone. So thank you very much Volkera for introducing a nice product this time. Thank you very much for introducing a wow product this time. Let's see if this is really a wow product or not. So start, or if you are turning, it's just going down. So barometer is not actually that impressive. So now Tariq is flying through the gates
Yaw is very, very sluggish. The waypoints are showing me way, very, very close to the ground. Speed-wise, it's good. Controls are really nice. Yep. Trying to take my coins. Oh, I missed the coin. Where's the coin? I'm able to fly right before me. If you don't focus on the live video, you will crash the quadcopter into anything where you see your gates. Definitely, definitely. definitely. One thing is clear, quadcopter has plenty of flight time. You can see pilot is totally focusing on the game. Coins, according to my cell phone, coins are right here on the ground. Now he doesn't even know where his quadcopter is actually. If I try to take the coins, I will run the drone into myself. So be careful out there, guy. Yeah. It's fun, but you have to take care of yourself and yep. take care of the elements around the deal. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.